So let's talk about video references. I'm going to start off with a little analogy to kind of get a better idea, to demonstrate a better idea of, of what's going on uh, as best as I understand it for those that are getting into video production and, and more high-end equipment that, that requires this kind of um, equipment. So basically what is a reference? A reference is essentially, if you can think of it like cups of water here. I've got these cups and I've got one cup of water full here. And say that this is the video input. This is the, the camera or this is the playback device coming into a media server or a switcher. And it fills up, one image fills up the whole glass. So think of a, a full image, a, a 1080i, 1080p, whatever, 4K, it doesn't matter. Just imagine that this is a, a full image, top to bottom, left to right. And in order for it to go through different devices, like say for example, we have uh, a camera. So we have a camera here, so let's say that's the first cup. The second cup is this uh, converter, and then the, the third device is going to be this media server here, which is making all the noise. So camera, converter, media server. All right. So what's happening is normally in most cameras, like for example, this camera does not have a reference. It has time code. Time code is a totally different thing, and we'll, I'll make another video about that. But this camera only has SDI out and HDMI out. It doesn't have a reference in. So what happens is this camera is just outputting frames continuously at its own rate. So say for example, if all of these devices, the camera, the converter, and the media server here, all had a clock. And it had uh, 60, 60 seconds on the clock. So this, when you turn this camera on, it's going to start at, for example, zero seconds or one second. And it's going to, you know, click along, you know, like an analog clock, and it's going to go around in a circle. This device, when you power it up, is going to start its clock at zero and it's going to go around in a circle and, and it'll go on like that. Same thing with the media server. So what happens is, is that when you turn this device on, you are never going to turn or you rarely will ever turn on a device at the same exact time because they have their boot up process and whatever. So what will happen is this clock will be slightly out of sync of this clock, which will be slightly out of sync of that clock. So what then happens is when it's out, when this camera is outputting this image, this device has what's called a frame buffer. Now what it can do is it can wait for the whole image uh, to pass through into this device. It'll lo load it up into a type of memory and then it'll output it. Once it gets a full frame, it will then pass it along to the next device. That's why these devices can work without a reference. Uh, and, but some devices have to have a reference because in this case this server has eight inputs and all of the inputs have to be synchronized to each other. You can't have one out of sync from the other otherwise uh, I'll demonstrate what will happen here. So again getting back to the, the cups and water analogy basically if you think of it this way when a cup uh, full of of water or an image in this case it, it you can pour that that image or that water into this glass but if you think about it this way you don't want to pour the image into the next glass unless it's full of of the water from the first glass so what will happen is if you don't have a reference on certain devices it's almost like the equivalent of this glass dumping its contents into this glass, but halfway through or a quarter of the way through or an eighth of the way through, all of a sudden it starts dumping its contents into this glass while this is still still dumping in there. Now water doesn't get everywhere and the image doesn't fall on the floor, but what will happen is when you get to the last device here, you'll actually see where uh, it, it's not going to it's not going to present the full contents of the image correctly, it's not going to look nice and even like, like this full glass here. So let's demonstrate that real quick. So what I'm going to do is I've got this camera 
going into this converter and what's happening is the video is going in here and the reference is coming in here and basically what it what it's doing is the camera is sending its image in frame by frame it's getting loaded into the buffer which is like filling up the glass and the reference is telling its memory buffer to dump that image to the output at a very specific time. So what's happening is this this um, sync generator, this reference, is feeding the media server and the converter at the same time so that their clock is going around in a circle at the exact same rate. So what will happen is if you lose reference, so right now if you look here and I've got two outputs, so I've got one camera coming in and I've just got the same image going to two different um, inputs on this media server. So what I'm going to do is if I disconnect the reference from this converter, you're actually going to notice that nothing happened. Everything is still working correctly and that's because I have locked the reference of this device and that device already so internally that clock is already synchronized it's like when you watch a spy movie and they say okay let's synchronize our watches that's basically where they're just telling everybody we're gonna start the minutes uh, the seconds minutes and hours to be at the exact same time on all of their watches well it's the same thing with this this is basically a box that's telling everybody okay synchronize your watches now and, and so now that they've been synchronized, it's going to stay in sync for some amount of time. It won't always stay in sync. It, it can drift over time, and that's why you have to keep these connected, because over time, they'll, they'll slowly drift away. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to force the clock to reset by power cycling this. So I'm going to unplug this. The image goes away. And it might take a couple different tries on this, because, again, when we reconnect this this device's clock is going to start at zero but maybe when I plug this in I could actually plug it in when this clock is at zero so it would look like everything's lined up but over time the device would drift or I could actually plug this in when this is at uh, you know 180 degrees out of sync so that the image will be like say halfway uh, there will be a line halfway through the screen and I'll demonstrate that so let's plug this in and you can see we're about, you know, 20, 10, well, let's say 5% out of, yeah, let's say 5% out of phase here. And I'm, so uh, that's what that black bar is right there. And I'm going to try and make this a little bit more, um, you know, I, want, I really want to try and get that line in the middle so it's really obvious. There we go. Okay, so... I've got this, this black bar right here in the middle. So what's happening is this glass is dumping its contents into the media server. This, this converter right here, which is this middle glass, so this is the camera converter media server. This glass is dumping its contents into the media server about a third of the way through this filling it up, if that makes any sense. It's probably a horrible analogy, but it's the best I got. So if you look here, this is actually the bottom of the image. This is the top of the image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to pass it across the screen here. So I'm going to start at the bottom. So right now my finger is at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to slowly go up. And now it's at the top of the screen. So, whoops. So what we're going to do now is we're going to connect the reference. And this screen is going to go a little crazy for a second. And then everything's going to lock together. So all the clocks are going to be the same and all these glasses of water that, that <laughs> again, an analogy, there's no water involved here. All the, all the images are going to dump over at the exact same rate. So all three of these glasses are going to move in synchronous. So I'm going to connect the reference here. And there you go. So now we can see that all these images are exactly lined up and they'll stay exactly lined up as long as the reference is connected to, to both of these devices now why do you need this and you know a lot of the newer equipment that's out there you don't need a reference you don't need a, a sync generator 
why do you need this? Well, the reason is that the more devices that you go through, when you go from a camera to a converter to another converter to another converter, and you go all the way down the road to either when it's being uh, going to a streaming device or a video wall or a projector or televisions or whatever your end devices that you're going to be viewing the content on, if you have it where each glass is weak, if you don't have a reference, this glass is going to try and fill this glass, which is then going to try and fill this glass. When these devices have frame buffers, basically what it's doing is, when you have a frame buffer, it's, wait, it's able to wait until this glass is totally full before it'll dump the image into the next one. And what'll happen with that is because you're waiting, there's time being waited, what'll happen is you will get a delay. So say for example, if you've ever been to a concert with a video wall, or you've done work with video walls or any type of devices like that, where there's a camera that's pointing to somebody on stage, and then they say something and you're looking at their lips and their lips are totally out of sync of what's, uh, the, the audio is in time, but the video is out of sync to, to what you're seeing. The reason is, is because every time that you add another device, it's going to add an element of delay. So the more devices you add, the more delay there's going to be because it has to fill up its little internal buffer before it can send the image out correctly. When you add a reference, what happens is all the devices in the chain that have a reference or have the ability to have a reference will fire out the image at the exact same rate. So now you can reach very, very low latency and you, could, you can just about get uh, no latency to the point that when somebody's talking on stage and you're, they're being presented into a video wall or a projector or something like that, the, the, the video and the audio are going to more or less line up. There's always going to be some inherent delay, but it's going to be a lot, lot, lot less than if you had, you know, a couple dozen different devices. Because remember, when you have a camera, you're going to have, when you have a big video production, you're going to have a couple different things. You're going to have a camera. You're probably going to have a matrix. You're going to have a switcher. You might have all these different devices to then feed the projector or the processor, the video wall processor or the TVs. Uh, this eliminates all that delay by not using the internal buffer uh, or, or making the buffer fire out on all devices exactly at the same time. So, yeah, that's uh, that's basically a reference or a sync generator in a nutshell. Anyway, if you like this video, you guys know what to do. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care.